All right, here's a demo of the the web app I made in in action. There's my little icon. I haven't started the WebSocket server yet, so you can see it trying to connect. I'll just hit enter on my putty. If it fails, it tries to reconnect in five seconds. You can see that it registered my browser. So I changed it up a little bit. Right now you can click on each um, category and turn on the light on and off in each category and minimize it to see just rooms if you have just rooms all connected to one pie or uh, multiple web socket servers depending on your web page code. This is just a mock-up. It is actually reading data from my Raspberry Pi. I uh, have this little status box I can pop down that gives me the current information that my Pi has, the RAM, the CPU, how much free disk space I have. I only used a 2 gig card. Anyway, I, I added this new all-off feature that lets me turn all the lights off in that category. It's pretty handy if I need to go to bed and don't want to run around and or even go up and down and click my buttons. So my wife's probably thinking or wondering why the lights are going on and off because I'm at work. He he he. So yep. Let's see if I can pull it up on a another browser window and see if it uh, registers two clients. Doesn't look like it. Oh wait. Right there. Okay. Yep, two. You'll be able to see that when I turn the porch on, it happens immediately on the other screen. WebSocket sends the message as soon as it gets the light information from the outputs. These will update just exactly the same time too. And turn a light on in the background. Or we'll turn this off. There. Alright, thank you.